Hello everybody, um, Red Creeper here, and today I'm going to be showing you a cool thing that looks like this. It's kind of like an emancipation grid from Portal. You can't walk through it. That's a difference, it, but it's like a particle field, pretty much, and it looks really cool. Um, also, if you wanted to, you could change it. If you couldn't tell, it's using the particle effect. You can change it to drip water. So that looks kind of like an emancipation grid more. I really like how it kind of like falls down slowly. But anyway, still can't go through it. Um, <clears throat> change it back to drip lava because that's what everything else I set up to do. Um, I'm just going to be showing you how to do this. It's really simple, but it has obviously a <laughs> really cool looking effect. And also, I set it up. Go, go away. There it is. We, we know you're there. Uh, if you shoot that on top, then you can then go through it. Um, yeah, particles, as I told you. But anyway, and it's fairly simple to reset. You could do this with commands fairly easily. And then, yeah, that's actually it now. You have to, there. Then the berries are back. But yeah. Um, now I'll go in and show you how to do it. First, I'll explain this. That, if you haven't seen it before, is the fastest type of clock. Um, say test. Yeah, it's a clock. So, uh, and the reason it's sticking out like that, it's still working, is because I'm just... No, oh, oh, I didn't actually show you what commands are in the fastest clock. Um, you fill the block below, redstone block, and block above, another type of block. So, what you can do is, instead of... Having this, let's see, that's negative x, so you could do negative 5. Then you only need to change that one, because I was just setting it to stone, which is that. I think it still works. Nope, you need to set them both. So now, say it has, now it'll spin, yeah. Um... But yeah, that is a really efficient and nice way to set up a clock. And then you can add command blocks on all four sides of the block and then expand it and... Yeah. Better up with the clock. And I'll set this back. There we go. So now it's gone. But anyway, um... All it's doing, if you couldn't tell, is it's doing the particle, a bit over particle, but I'll do it again. Um, these are the coordinates of where it's doing the particle. I do minus four so that it's on the very back, not right here. It looks cool right here, but you can't set barriers halfway in the block, so. And then zero in the Z in no, zero in the X, so it's not coming out any. Um, three up and one out from each side. Then I'm playing it at speed 0 0.01 and playing 25. Yeah, it's just a really cool effect. But anyway, da -da 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 -da. this is testing for an arrow. At the redstone block within a radius of one, that is in ground. That causes the... That's what it's testing for. It looks so cool. But yeah, if it does find it, then it sets that to an emerald block. Um, it sets the command over here to have the dot. That way it won't continue doing the particle. And then it fills the barrier into air. And that is pretty much it. It's a really simple thing, but <laughs> it really does just have a really cool effect. Um, 
this world is up for download along with um my not exploding exploding tnt if you haven't seen that video uh anyway but yeah uh this world is up for download has everything looks cool because i made it not quite as modest as me though <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching and have a nice day i also have this particle command in the description but yeah thanks for watching have a nice day bye Oh, and a quick little add-on, because this is kind of, like I say in the title, of uh, Emancipation Grid, you can, um, if you wanted to, instead of having barriers, you could have a clear at A within that radius. So as soon as you pass through it, it clears your inventory of certain stuff, if you really wanted to make it a true Emancipation Grid. But yeah, once again, thanks for watching, bye.